I can see now that I've got closer to what I want, right? I've got a horizontal slider, I've got a vertical slider. Whew! Excellent. All right, so now I might want another kind of slider because I'm never satisfied. Right, so I've got a regular button, I've got a horizontal slider, I've got a vertical slider. What if I want a 2D slider? So let's go ahead and look at how we can build a 2D slider. So again, I'm going to start with a regular old slider to get us going. I'm going to set its dimensions to be 100 by 100. So we've got a square. All right. If I make it viewer active, I can see that I'm just moving this thing left and right. Let's go ahead and split our view again so we can take a look at what this might uh, mean when we're here working inside of it. Now, for my knob, I'm going to go ahead and break some of the rules here. Right, so I have been doing parent parameter height. And let's go ahead and take that and divide it by 10. Right, so now I've got this little guy right here. And for the width, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to borrow this again. And I'm going to parent parameter width divided by 10. Great. Now I've got a square. And if I look at this square, I can still only move it left and right. Well, what, what gives here? What I need to do, right, if we look over here to our container, this Y value isn't changing. So if I move this manually, I can control where it is. But I'm not able to interact with it and make it move. So this time around, rather than using our math, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to borrow this uh, expression that's already written for us. So I'm going to copy and paste it in here. And I just need to make a couple changes. So now what I need to do is I need to look for the panel V value, right? And then I need to look for panel height and panel height over here. Now, lo and behold, I've got a little square that I can drag around. That's pretty, pretty swanky. I like that. But one of the things that's common for 2D sliders is to be able to see uh, a kind of crosshair to give me a sense of where on earth I am, right? Because if I just view this, um, this is lovely and all, but eh, it could be a little bit sexier. I wouldn't mind that. Uh, so let's just go ahead and make a copy of uh, the knob that we've already made, and we're going to make some alterations to this. So now this guy, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to drop out one of these coordinates that I have, right? So now we can see this thing moves uh, up and down with me, but it doesn't move left and right. Excellent. I like that. Okay, now uh, for the height of this thing, I only want it to be one pixel tall. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a value of one there. And then I want it to be the width of the parent container. Right, so now I've got this thing that travels with me. Yeah, good. Getting close. Getting groovy. Oh my goodness, I've been changing the wrong one. Doesn't matter. We'll be okay. I'm going to rearrange those. Uh, and I'm going to just rename these quickly uh, so I don't get confused because I could get confused really quickly. Whew. All right. So the square is uh, knob and this other uh, guy is knob one. Let's go ahead and make a copy of this. And let's use that again. So now what I'm going to do uh, is I'm going to go ahead and take all of these handy expressions that I've written in here, right? This time I want it to be one wide, but I want it to be the full height, right? You can begin to see probably what I'm getting along to. We can see it way over here on the left-hand side. So let's come back. Let's turn this expression back on. Let's copy this, paste this in here. And we need to go ahead and make some changes. All right, I want the U value, not the V value this time. And I want the width and the width. Excellent. All right, so now I've got this very sassy set of crosshairs here, which I like a lot. We'll resize this. And now we can see here in our knob, uh, let's go ahead and hide the parameters there. Uh, that we've got these guys that are already set up for us. Now, one thing that I do want to change 
I'm going to go ahead and close this. Is coming out of this right now is just this v1 value, right? And that's and v corresponds to left and right. It doesn't give me anything that's up and down. I really, out of a 2D slider, I want uh, x and y values. That's what I want to have. So I want u and v, and I want to rename those to x and y. All right, so now I've got x and y that come out of this, which means that if I was to uh, drop down a null here, we can now see, lo and behold, I've got x and y normalized values that come outside of this particular 2D slider. Whew. All right, we're cooking with gas.